Amen. Proverbs 6 says, two. He who commits adultery with a wife is a fool. Say fool. You see any man who commits adultery, call him a fool. He can be the prime minister, president of this country, he is a fool. The Bible says he not only destroy his soul, but there will be no peace, shame, and dishonor with his God. And I challenge any woman in the world now, not to know not who is involved in this rubbish called side chicks. Some of you still record the video, right? Many have watched it, including people who hate looking at the things I say, because they say my words are very hard, I like those kind of words. Proverbs 6 verse 2. Proverbs 6 verse 2. Proverbs 6 verse 2. Proverbs 6 verse 2. Adultery is actually gender-based violence. Amen. That is emotional torture. Emotional abuse on the woman. As well as on the man. Oh yes, the woman who commit adultery, maybe you don't know. Very active. Genesis 20, verse 7. God came to King Abimelech at night. I quote, Abimelech, you are a dead man for taking a man's wife. What? Dead man. He passed an order. Abimelech said, I didn't know. In all honesty, I didn't know. He said to me that he is the sister to Abraham. Sarah. That was the arrangement Abraham made. He knew the wife was so beautiful. I quote for you. I told women are beautiful, right? Say, I know you are my wife. You are so beautiful. If they see you in Egypt and know you are my wife, they will kill me and take me away. So tell them you are my sister. Amen. Amen. That connection is working. I don't want to tell you the meaning of that phrase. Say that you are my sister. And Abimelech ignorantly, because kings were permitted to marry many wives, just like it's happening today, is of very bad cultures. Pause. Polygamy is like the last adultery. No woman here marries a second wife. Amen. You didn't hear that. Amen. That means even if a man is dating you and is deceiving you, you will find a person. No one marries a second wife. They say you are a dead man for taking a man's wife. Polygamy is the last adultery. Only a fool commits adultery. A fool. A fool means someone who can sense. In a simple term that the Bible, the book of Proverbs, describes a fool. It describes a fool as actually a simple. Say simple. It says the wise man sees trouble and escapes, but the simple walk into it and they are destroyed. Simple is a genuine way. A very polite way of saying a foolish person walks into it and is destroyed. So there are many educated fools. Say amen. In the body of Christ. May God deliver people from adultery and cheating and heal women at home right now whose relationships are chaotic. Throughout the Bible, we see many pictures, graphic display of the activities women did. Come on now, look. From Genesis, Eve comes in the equation, deceived by the serpent because of the irresponsible nature of the husband Adam. Oh, yes, you are not told that. You were meant to think it was a problem. The man who had instructions from God was Adam. Of all the trees in the garden, eat better of the tree, fruits from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, don't eat. It was his responsibility to teach it to his wife, he failed. And it was his responsibility to protect his wife, to cage, to guard, he failed. And the serpent took advantage of it. Women are vulnerable. The Bible actually calls it a weaker person. I think that should be first Peter 3 verse 7 or second Peter. Check that out. First. It doesn't mean they are weak physically. It simply means they are delicate. And if you don't take care of them, they can be sick now. May God heal any woman who is suffering from the pains of the sick in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the word. This is healing for you already. So, beginning with if you go across many women, look at Abraham and Sarah, Isaac, Rebecca, and Co. Right down to Elizabeth, Mary. Look at Martha and all of these women. In some instances in the Bible, their names are not called. They are simply described as women. In some instances, names are mentioned. Do not underestimate the power of a woman when it comes to kingdom advancement. I say this to many, if you want the gospel to prosper fast, involve women more. Though it's God's mission that men should be the one carrying this kingdom agenda. But if the men are not there, the kingdom must advance. So what do you do? You do with what is around. May God bless you in Jesus' name. May God bless women in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God intended that the potential in a woman should be maximized within the confines of holy matrimony. Say, I will get married. I will get married. You are already married. Don't say it now. You won't break up again. Say, I will get married. I will get married. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
to the right man. I see a lot of foolishness going on, but man of God, I love him. You are foolish. You are just being stupid. If he's not born again, run away. Simple. I have no other explanation. I've been saying this thing for five years and counting when I started talking to people and I keep saying it. That's a basic preliminary. In, I mean, that's a basic knowledge you must have. Are you born again? Are we of the same spirit? Many joke about this thing. A man who's not saved generally may not necessarily get saved that easy in marriage. And you don't want to go through the chaos. I've talked to women. This week, just to have had to address very painful situations women go through. And you know when the trouble starts, they come back to us men of God now. And there are also very unfortunate churches and very unfortunate altars and very unfortunate priests of God. So the nice way is they did no background investigation. You marry a man after six months, he's cheating on you already. Then he was a cheat before marriage. That is why nothing changes at the altar. If he cannot change to be what God wants him to be, he won't change while at the altar. But why he leaves the altar? A man with a smelling mouth who knows nothing about hygiene will see the having a smelling mouth after marriage. Amen. A man who is soft that he doesn't watch, he will see taking him after marriage. This thing works. Be careful. Take your time. If my potential, if the divine purpose in me can be maximized when I get married, that means I must be careful with whom I get married. True of course. True. You marry a bankers in Bukabu has no vision. What are we doing the next two years? Say, time will tell. We will see. We will not see anything. You must tell me now. Visionless man run away from him. Amen. Amen. They keep playing around, they're around. You marry a man who is coming, you are finished. And you won't repent. The next woman you today, they get involved in contract marriages. Have you heard of that? Arrange a marriage, go sign, break up your own marriage, officially sign the God's papers, do that line, and sign on that one with someone to go abroad that day. And especially the one here, you think marriage starts playing now. Why man does this rubbish, you copy it, not in the kingdom. Say God for me. Distinguished women in leadership. Let's look at that. There are women who are distinguished in leadership. I'm telling you today. And I see men, women right here in this place, who will rise up to leadership positions that men have not held before. I just mentioned September 8th. Queen Elizabeth is come back. Can you imagine 96 years? I think she's old, over 70 years in her life. She was, and I know what was happening because I had to follow some of the things. We talk about the kingdom of God. This is what goes on as because the United Kingdom actually met the democracy with the kingdom, all right? And remember that this King James version of the Bible was actually ordered to be translated and to be written actually by King James. I think, I don't know where was the second one, but you can verify that. He was behind, the, the brain behind this when he decided to harmonize the thoughts of men when Bible translation started and was about Saka. So the United Kingdom has an understanding of the Bible. Though they want to mix democracy, which is a confusion, let kingdom be kingdom. She passed on. And she's true. Her life is a celebrated life. You saw the swearing in ceremony yesterday, not so. For King Charles III. Yeah. Things spoken about this woman is about celebration. By the way, I dress like them. You know, in the UK, we dress like this. Amen. We dress like this. We dress like this. Like that. We dress like this. We dress like this. Some of us have been there in our minds. Amen. You will get there in Jesus' name when the time comes. So, that is a woman in leadership, well class leader. When you come to the U.S., the name of the woman to go there so fast at all costs. The vice president is a man or a woman. It's a woman. It's a woman. Come on now. Women can lead strategic positions. No one must tell you otherwise. Women can become presidents. Society calling that women are on their own supposed to be. Any culture in the world yes, that says women should stay in the house and limit themselves as housewife is an anti kingdom culture. It's devilish and must be stopped. There is no law that means that women should be respected as housewives. Any culture that delivers women from manifesting the beauty God gave them, covering them up and down in the name of what is an anti kingdom culture, is devilish. Not of God. It is written, a woman says, men for a glory. You deprive them from bringing their head. Why? And you cover the head. Why? Strong things, right? 